Kind of um, off topic, but on topic, especially for the procurement and contracting kids. Um, later on, we're going to do some more maths based things. And I find when I run a lot of the technical side of procurement, especially when we look at present values, net present values, rate of returns, and, and we start them with some maths, I'm kind of evil and I make people do things you know, by hand the old school way rather than going on their financial calculators because who, who can't press buttons? Um, this comes up quite a lot. So I'm going to ask you a question. All right. What is three plus four times two. What does that equal? It's not a trick question. I'll give you some time to answer it. Press pause if you need to, but hopefully the majority of you have gone, cool, I've got it already. And it's pretty simple, but I get stunned in the amount of people that, that get this wrong, or they actually stuff up <laughs> their, you know, if it's a practical exercise, who cares, but their real world projects because they don't understand a simple mathematical concept. And, and don't be ashamed if, if you don't understand it. Often it is taught very badly at school. Right? And, and often if it is taught at school, it's limited to that, but it's quite important. So when I ask a lot of people, they would give me answers such as 14. And a lot of you might have that answer because the logical brain, you know, if you read or do many things, tend to, tends to work in this kind of order. Okay, look, let's, we've got a job to do. Let's start here and we'll finish there. So we go three plus four. Well, carry the two, drop my lid. But I think that gives us about seven. Cool. Times two, well, that gives us 14. Wicked. So we've got our answer. I know a lot of you are going, oh my God, that's wrong. You're so stupid. You're doing this wrong. And you're going to get angry, but hold your anger. Cool. Now, Effectively, that, that is wrong, um, and I'll explain why. There's this thing. Ah, you can't talk when you put a pen in your mouth, as cool as it looks. There's this thing called the order of operations, and basically it's a, um, it's a principle of maths, but it should be a law of maths saying you, you need to do it this way. Because right? in maths, there's only one right answer. Cool. So basically what this thing says is you need to do things before other things. And if you remember something called BIMDAS or BOMDAS or something like this, this is an acronym to help you remember this thing. Basically what it says is, look, if there's anything in brackets, do that stuff first. All right, no question about it, just do that stuff first. If there's stuff that have indices, so, you know, squared, cubed, you know, to the power of, all that sort of stuff, exponential functions, and so on, do that stuff next. So if some brackets, you do that first, then you do this, then you do your timesing and your dividing. So multiplication, then division, and addition and subtraction. So that's the order which we do things in. So if we then apply this BIMDAS thing to this question over here, what we do is we get something different because I'm like, cool, any brackets, neg, any indices, neg, multiplication, okay, that comes next. So I go, okay, what is four times two? All right, well, that's eight, good. No division, neg, any addition, yep. So I need to go eight, because that's this bit now, plus three. And I get a different answer. Okay, all right. And any subtraction, no. So by doing it this way, we actually come up with 11 rather than 14. And that is the only correct answer for this. And I see this in social media a lot where people put these dumb puzzles up there, but it's ridiculously simple. Um, but I get stumped by the amount of times people get this wrong. Just use that logic and follow that logic all the time and you'll be sweet. If you think of it just from a first principles and practical perspective as well, this makes sense. Because in this case, multiplication is just grouping stuff. So here what you're saying is you've got four, lots of two, right? So this number really isn't independent of this number, they're linked. So if you go, okay, well I've got one, two, three things here, and over here I've got one, two, three, four lots of two, okay? I can't take that four away because this just says I've got four lots of two. 
So I can't really do much else to that. I mean, if you want to think about it, if you wanted to add anything across, you could add another group of two, and then you'd have five groups of two, which would give you 10, and then you'd have this one left over, which goes back to this answer. All right. So hopefully I've made that rather simple and um, less confusing. Follow this bad boy. If you really want the this thing to equal 14, well, you could do that by inserting brackets. And then what you'd have here is you'd have your 7 because you'd do that first, and then that answer you'd times it by 2 because you'd go brackets, then multiplication, and so on. Cool. Hope that's helped, and ask any questions you want, again, in the comments line below, and, and I'll do my best to answer them.